The online Heartbleed security flaw isn't taking the weekend. Visitors to the Affordable Care website are being advised to take steps to protect themselves. As Mark Albert reports, plugging the gap is neither quick nor easy. When the federal health care enrollment site reset everyone's account password, it seemed as though the Heartbleed problem was getting much worse. In fact, online security experts say it's getting better. In the past week, the number of vulnerable websites in the top one million most visited has dropped by half. But Sanjay Barry, CEO of the online security firm Netscope, says that even though millions of users are coming up with new, unique and complicated passwords, they might still be at risk. I could put all my eggs in one basket, and if that basket is ever compromised, all of my stuff is gone, right? Or do I spread it out and have 10 baskets? There isn't necessarily one, you know, silver bullet. There are free apps that can create and remember all those new passwords for you. And Barry says there's even more you can do to protect yourself. He recommends enabling what's called two-step verification on your sites, relying not just on a password, but a second code texted to your phone each time you log in. They need to have stolen your mobile device where that SMS was being sent, know the code to get into your mobile device, and so on. So multi-factor authentication uh, is a great thing. Dave D'Amato of Mandiant, a Virginia-based information security company, says the breadth of the Heartbleed bug is bigger than first thought. From websites to servers and to some phones, companies are still rushing to check their servers for weakness. You are a little bit helpless in that you're relying on these organizations to do this work and let you know when it's been completed. A massive job not yet finished, with consumers still on alert. Mark Albert, CBS News, Washington.